It's your voice, your vote, and we are now one week from Election Day. And 13 News Now is bringing you coverage of local races for the General Assembly. Ann Sprocker previews the race for Senate District 21, all new at 530. In his second attempt to represent the city of Norfolk in the General Assembly, independent candidate and disabled veteran Giovanni Domo is challenging Delegate Angela Williams Graves for the Senate District 21 seat. The district covers a majority of the city of Norfolk, made up mostly of black voters who have chosen Democratic candidates over the past several years. The one piece of legislation that I think I would really like to see passed is gun safety bill. I mean, to me, it's just common sense. Definitely get legislation to have more families, more fathers involved in their families, involved with their children. With gun violence plaguing the city of Norfolk, Williams Graves wants to address it by funding small nonprofits to get more volunteers and activists into hardest hit neighborhoods. But Domo says he wants to reduce the violence through his original efforts of supporting more families in Virginia by helping fathers or father figures stay more involved. And another problem leaking into Norfolk neighborhoods is flooding mitigation, an effort facing funding challenges. This is not a, this is not rocket science. You know, make sure that you get the sewage that could collect that water to get that water out of there. Let's get the engineers to figure it out. Let's pay them what we need to pay them. Let's make the budget for it. Well, we want to make sure that the state is a good partner with us with regard to um, the federal grants that the city has obtained that require a non um, a non federal match. But we also want to make sure that Virginia stays in Reggie, the regional greenhouse gas initiative. And finally, a hot topic is abortion rights in Virginia, including Governor Glenn Youngkin's 15 week ban proposal. I know for sure abortion is not going anywhere in the state of Virginia. The governor already said that. Uh, both parties already agree on that. And all I stand on is whatever God tells me to vote on is what I'm going to vote on. I don't think that we need to ban or further restrict or limit whatever it is they want to call it. I don't think we need to move in um, that direction. Each candidate says no matter the results of Election Day, they still plan to help create change within the Mermaid City. In Norfolk, I'm Ann Sparaka for 13 News Now. And we have information on all the races on 13newsnow.com. To learn more about this one, just search House Senate District 21.